If you have no tucks and you align good at the front, we are now going to enclose that seam. Remember with the shirt and your, with your sleeve and your, and your um, cuff, we created a sandwich seam. We just folded that down and sandwiched it. We are going to create a burrito seam in order to do this, in order to line this up to have it get out of the way. So it will burrito easiest if you just take your shirt, because we're going to flat roll burrito rather than just roll it up so that we get a flatter surface here inside of our button band. And so I'm going to take my shirt, that front end of my shirt, fold it into a third, fold it into a third, and then I'm going to take that now and just lay it, literally lay it, right on my collar band. And I sometimes like to pin that so that it stays in place and, and doesn't roll down. Okay. Then I'm going to bring my collar band facing around. And it'll, that will work a little bit easier if you do the same thing with your, with your collar. I take that collar, fold it into a third fold it into a third, and then as I bring that collar band facing around, lay that inside. And so this is a burrito seam because I've rolled that up. And what I'm doing is getting my shirt and my collar out of the way. Much like if you remember the cuff, we did we sandwich seamed the, the sleeve in there, and then we came back over our stitching and we sewed right on top of our stitching line, just that inch to an inch and a half to make that corner a completely secured corner that would then allow us to come back and diagonally cut across it and trim it and grade it. And we're going to do that same thing here with the corner of our collar. So I have burritoed up the shirt, the front of the shirt, and I burritoed the collar itself. And now I'm pinning my collar band to my collar band facing right sides together with all of that wrapped up and rolled up inside of there. And I'm just going to sew from that exact spot again, right where I started before, that 5 8 inch terminated seam. I will start there back stitch. I'm just going to sew for about an inch to an inch and a quarter. So we come back to the sewing machine and we'll get ready to do that. All right, so we are back at the sewing machine. I want to make sure that my needle goes right into that point. And so I come back, look underneath the foot here, and I drop that needle in exactly at that 5 8 inch terminated seam. Drop my presser foot, two to three stitches and back stitch. And I am just sewing that little corner area right on top of my stitching. I literally am sewing right on the same stitching line. So you want to be sewing looking at that interfacing so that you can see your stitching line. And you'll go an inch to an inch and a quarter and then just back stitch and stop. And you're just sewing just that tip edge and you will do that to both sides. You will do it to both sides of it. So when you sew your second side, if you will notice on the opposite side, I started at that point and sewed to, down and towards the collar band. As you sew your second side, in order to be able to look at that interface side, you will be starting in the collar band and you're going to sew towards that point. This side was folded up the very same way. The seam had to be um, burritoed. The shirt itself had to be burritoed. And the collar itself burritoed, folded up inside of there. And then it was sewed, this time from the collar band, to that point. And you terminate that seam exactly at that very same point that we've worked at from before. And then when both tips are done, it's going to be very much like your placket and your cuff were. You'll be able to reach up inside of here pull out your shirt, pull out your collar, and that tip will be, that edge is completely enclosed so that we can come back now and trim and grade and have that be completely enclosed and be able to get in there and trim closely. If you do it like your pattern guide said, and just turn that edge up, but this is all trimmed and graded and you have to all sew this by hand with a needle and thread and try to catch a little teeny tiny trimmed and graded seam allowance. So that is why we have changed that area.